It's morning before school and I am now making the third egg sandwich for Indy's breakfast. Where are the cameras? Uh, third. Third egg sandwich for Indy's breakfast because this guy keeps eating them. I didn't go thrifting this morning because my son is homesick, which is fine. I am almost already over this, but I will continue to test out that savers challenge situation that I created for myself. Um, not much to report from this morning, but I do have three sales for me to pack up. One of them is at home because it is something of my son's that I listed and sold for him. A insert picture here. Uh, um, from it, we were at the mall one day and I gave them each five dollars to spend and he bought this and then he wound up with a rare So I was like sell it. So he got 45 bucks for it. Awesome. Without further ado, let us pull from my Pit of storage in the store here uh, the items that sold item one a new old stock 1970s iron-on Jean Autry t-shirt. Anyway, I got, I think I sent an offer for 25 but it may took it. Um, and the only other thing that is in the store that I can pack and ship is something I listed just yesterday when I was trying to attack my abundance of stuff. So that's really cool. That sold fast. $29 for this beautiful jade green clip-on plastic lampshade. So $29 plus shipping shipping for both because I always charge shipping because I sell collectibles. Um, that's it. Let's pack and ship those and then maybe get back to listing some more stuff from these buckets. Not to sound too enthusiastic. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. Something I have been putting off for way too long that I put off intentionally in December as something that would keep me busy for January and give me plenty of work to do and listing to do. And it is not those shelves of piles and boxes of random small things. It is this box down here of just it's something I'm not excited about. Let's see, I'll show you what it is. No, I love Ninja Turtles, I love them. But parting them up when there are a uh, hundred of them and I've already gone through and picked out all the expensive ones is just a lot of work. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna do right now. He loves me to see him. He's sitting right on top of me. Oh, crushing me. Like a boy. Look at your face. Look at your face, baby. There it is. Oh, he's so cute. I certainly hope you're right. It is only day something of this new layout. And I already need to tidy up this storage area and rearrange it. I'm not sure why it doesn't last that long. I haven't really done much in here. But I'm trying this year to stay on top of being organized and tidy here. And this is a great layout, so I don't want to ruin it for myself. So, let's do this. Hmm. I'm suspecting it might be a good idea to like start every day with a, a schedule. Like, come in. Tidy up your workspace, dust a part of the store, XYZ package, list, repeat, maybe. I'm not good at like regimented schedule stuff, but we'll work on it. 2020 bitches! I had somebody on eBay send me a couple of low offers for one of the Ninja Turtle lots that I listed and I very politely replied 
with him the second time that it was the lowest I would go and to which he sent, and then I'd reconsider in a couple of weeks. And he sent me a message that was, I'll be watching this very closely. You know, this is the max I can go because I already have that guy, but I'm missing this accessory. So it started a conversation because I had an extra of that accessory. And then he told me some other guys he was looking for who I have. So I'm going to dig out those guys and take some photographs and send him and maybe we can make a deal. So that's cool. I'll send him, I'll build like a custom listing on eBay because that's where I found him just for him if we can strike a deal. So let's see, stay tuned. Louis stopped in so I decided to walk around the store with him and find some items to list that were out on the floor, which is dumb because I had plenty of things in the back to list. I needed a break from Ninja Turtles. They were getting monotonous. So anyway, in my dollar, my little dollar jars up here, which are these, where I just have like random jars with random little tiny things that people can buy for a dollar. I must have dumped in without looking. A full set of these Voltron erasers, which is pretty cool. So there are the Go Lion, the Four Lions. Anyway, not a Go Lion, is it Go Lion? Anyway, the whole set I would have taken five bucks for, but you know, they've been here. They sat. I haven't had customers in a while to see it. And now we're listed on eBay for 35. So let's see what else we can find. Walk with me around the store, why don't you? Um, hmm. It's hard to see the same stuff constantly and be enthusiastic about it. It's like shopping in a thrift store that you've been to a million times and it's got the same stuff on the shelves. But that's why I have to list stuff from the shelves because I don't want my customers to feel that way. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tune in when I find something else. My life has been a boring series of boring mundane tasks the past two days. So let's just show you what's sold today. I don't know, why not? So I got that low offer this morning that turned into a conversation. Then we create a little Ninja Turtle pack for him. He paid right away. We agreed on 75. We've got Doc L with a couple of pieces of his accessories. That's the green stuff. We got Half Court is the giraffe. These are Ninja Turtles. Half Court the giraffe with his gun and an extra orange typewriter I had for Vern or Vern, I can't remember. One of the Toon Turtles. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Half Court would probably have gone for about 50 or 60 if I listed him. That would have been fine, but I enjoyed that the conversation was sparked and I made him a good deal, whatever, $75. Um, I'm sure he'll be a returning customer if I find more things that he needs. He also sold right away, I listed today. Um, another Ninja Turtle. This is Mutant Raph from the Universal Monsters series that they did. And he's got two of his weapons out of, I think, three. He's missing one. I listed him for 80. I got an offer for 70. Took it right away because I need money to pay bills because it's not cheap to have a store. Um, what else sold? The other day, I guess last week sometime, I went to the thrift store before I started my little thrift challenge thing though. And I found this kick-ass trapper keeper so that I got an offer for 20 and I took it or I sent an offer out for 20. It was listed for 25. Fine, thank you, bye. Everything's plus shipping. That is the three things I need to pack up to ship. Do I have food in my teeth? I do, look at that. I did that whole thing with how do I have pepper in my teeth? I'm sorry. I want to take a moment, oops, there are we, to explain about the Ninja Turtles. Now, not all Ninja Turtles are going to have a value like that. Most of them are five, 10 bucks, but there are a few towards the end of the line when the cartoons stopped being so popular and toy stores stopped carrying everything that they were churning out. So people that were really into Ninja Turtles, their parents would have to go 
to other states or for far or too far away or have to know somebody that worked at a toy store in order to find out when they were getting these new guys. So there weren't as many distributed and there weren't as many bought. Those are the line, those are the figures in any line of action figures that are gonna be the most valuable. So those guys were the end of the series. And there are some Ninja Turtles from this lot that I got when I first got them that went for hundreds of dollars. So, you know, when you get a moment, today's topic can be Ninja Turtles. Go on eBay and just type in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, sold, set that um, parameter for price to like 50 bucks and look for individual figures that are beating that price. You can set that parameter for $100 and see that there are several to keep an eye out for that don't even look like Ninja Turtles to you because almost none of them are actual turtles. And it's gonna blow your mind. It's crazy what's out there. Right. That was my bit of lesson. This is the end of the video. I'm in ending. If you like, subscribe, say nice things. Bye.